Mars has always been a mystery. For years, we have known that it has dry valleys and large volcanoes. But some studies show that there can be signs of water or life on this planet. So, it has been mapped and studied for several decades. A spacecraft named Mars Perseverance rover drilled holes into the surface of Mars. Its mission was to search for the remains of ancient life on the planet. It has characterized the planet's geology and collected Martian rock and regolith. Hey there guys and welcome back to our channel, Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will look at the strange discovery made by Mars Perseverance rover. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Mars Perseverance rover landed on Mars in February 2021. It has been on the planet for more than a year, and it has already made some interesting findings. These findings are proof for researchers that Martian life may exist. The rover was equipped with sophisticated instruments, and you will be surprised to know that it made a very strange discovery that will definitely change the way we view our neighbor planet. NASA sent rovers to Mars, and the mission was to investigate whether microbial life existed on Mars billions of years ago, and therefore that life is not unique to planet Earth. As noted by Chris McKay, a research scientist at NASA's Ames Research Science Center, Right here in our solar system, if life started twice, that tells us some amazing things about our universe," he pointed out. It means the universe is full of things beyond our expectations. Life becomes a natural feature of the universe, not just a quirk of this odd little planet around this star. The question of the origins of life and its ubiquity around the universe is central to science, religion, and philosophy. For the investigation of life on Mars, NASA sent five rovers to the Martian surface. The famous Curiosity rover was sent in August 2012. It has been roaming on the Martian surface for 10 years, tasked with examining Martian rock with the help of its scientific tools. The Perseverance rover was sent for the same mission in February 2021. The Perseverance rover is way better than the Curiosity because it will be able to pick up the rock samples and bring them back to Earth. It has the mast cam system with a better zoom function to capture the details of objects located far away. Moreover, it is also equipped with a microphone to capture the noise on the planet. Perseverance also has an explorer-friendly Ingenuity helicopter. It is a very important feature as it helped NASA to test the ability to fly the helicopter on Mars. All these features of the Perseverance rover indeed helped NASA find the symptoms of life on Earth. Many discoveries have been made on Mars, like Perseverance sensed the presence of water on Mars while some water molecules contain organic molecules. In April, Perseverance captured the image of a Yezero Crater Kodak. Yezero Crater is a flat-top hill with ancient rocks. The scientist who worked on the Perseverance rover said, I was beginning to despair that we would never find the answer. When Perseverance began scraping away at the surface of rocks with a drill on the end of its robotic arm, everything changed. The smoking gun was the crystals within the rock. The Perseverance rover is equipped with a planetary instrument for X-ray lithochemistry. It helped the rover identify the constituents or minerals present in the rock. In November, the Perseverance rover analyzed a rock which is known as BRAC. During the research, large olivine crystals were surrounded by pyroxene crystals. It gave scientists evidence of volcanoes on Mars because this rock is usually found in volcanic lava. One of the researchers at NASA said it was entirely unexpected and we are still trying to figure out what it means. However, it is believed that this is not the original crater floor. We predict the original crater floor to be substantially deeper than where we are currently based on the diameter of this crater. The evidence can give researchers information about the climate and environmental changes on Mars. One of the distinctive features of the Perseverance rover is that it has a rotary percussive drill, which means the drill bit pushes against the rock while spinning and hammering. 
When it is coring or abrading, an algorithm controls the amount of force and percussion. According to NASA, Perseverance rover, the first vehicle to drill into the surface of Mars, successfully completed its first mission on the Red Planet. The rover arrived at its science destination in the Utopia Planum region of Mars and began its primary mission of examining the planet's interior by drilling into rocks. Over the course of the mission, the rover will collect data that will allow scientists to learn more about the history and evolution of Mars. The mission is part of NASA's ongoing efforts to explore the Red Planet, which include ongoing studies of Mars orbiters, rovers, and the Curiosity and InSight missions. As the rover roves farther from its landing site, it will continue to study its geological history and the different layers of the planet's crust with its instruments. NASA's Perseverance rover has drilled into its second rock with a view to collecting samples after the first one strangely went missing. For examination, the space agency has chosen the rock Rochette, located on a ridge called Citadel, near the Yezero crater on the Red Planet. A drilling tool on the rover's 2-meter long robotic arm will sink into a capture tube that is only slightly thicker than a pencil. The Citadel Ridge is capped with a layer of rock that seems to be resistant to wind erosion, which means it's likely the rock will endure the pressure of drilling. This is a vital quality as NASA's previous attempt to retrieve a sample resulted in an empty tube. Engineers were initially confused about how the sample could have disappeared but later concluded that the sample was unusually soft and most likely got stuck in the hole. The first tube will not go to waste. Despite containing no rock, it is a perfect sample of Mars' atmosphere. During its mission, Perseverance will collect approximately 30 tubes full of Martian rock and soil, laying them down on the Martian surface for a future mission to retrieve and fly back to Earth for scientists to analyze. When this happens, no earlier than 2031, it will be the first time a sample has ever been returned from Mars. By returning samples to Earth, we hope to answer a number of scientific questions, including the composition of Mars' atmosphere, said Ken Farley, Perseverance's project scientist at Caltech. That's why we are interested in an atmosphere sample along with rock samples. NASA hopes Perseverance will help it discover evidence of extraterrestrial life on the planet. The Yezero crater was once flooded with water and was the location of an ancient river, scientists believe. The evidence of water makes it more likely that microbial life could have existed there. So with that, our video has come to an end. What are your thoughts about NASA's future missions on Mars? Are there going to be more strange things in the future? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mars Discovery and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Until then, goodbye.